So this question has a couple of things going on. First of all, I'm going to call it a simplified question because it is short, right? It's between one and three lines long. And we have this system of inequalities here that can most likely be simplified. But also, right, the big glaring difference in this question than what we see in typical questions is that all of these answer choices are graphs, right? So I'm going to also call this a diagram question because usually when every answer choice is a graph, we're going to have to really rely heavily on our understanding of the, of the graphs themselves, okay? So what do I have? I have uh, y is greater than or equal to x plus 2, and I have 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 6. Um, the question says, in which of the following does the shaded region represent the solution set in the xy plane to the system of inequalities above? So a couple of things. First of all, uh, whenever I'm graphing inequalities, I really want those inequalities to be in slope-intercept form. So I'll just say y and then mx plus b. I'll leave this blank because, of course, that could be greater than or equal to, could be less than or equal to. Um, that part doesn't matter. It's really the format of having the isolated y that matters most. So I'm going to I'm gonna look at, well, what's the graph of this first one since it's already in the right format, right? So uh, in this case, my 2 is like my b, so that's the y-intercept. So I look at my answer choices, and this would be 2 here for each of these graphs. So it looks like the y-intercept is 2 in each case, so there's nothing I can cross out. There's no process of elimination I can use based upon 2 being the y-intercept. And then second of all, right, my m, there's no number there, but that just means that my slope is equal to 1. It's positive 1 which tells me that I want to go up one and right one from the two. And it looks like, hmm, looks like all of these do that. Okay, so that's interesting. So what that tells me is that there isn't, right, sometimes what you're being tested on is your understanding of how to graph. In this case, uh, you know, this positive, so this graph here in each of these answer choices is the y, you know, I'm going to say equals x plus 2. So now what we have to focus on is the shading. We want y to be greater than or equal to the x plus 2, which means we want it to shade up above it. So C does that. D looks, it does not do that, so D is gone, right? So what do I mean by it does not do that? The shading in the answer is below this line, but we want it to be above that line, right? Because we want it to be greater than or equal to that line. A also does not, right, because it's below. We don't want it there. And B does. It's above. So this is good. So we've, so that was how we could um, figure out or use a little bit of process of elimination to, sit, to figure out which of the answers is more likely to be true without completely answering everything. So again, we're at B as a possibility, and we're at C as a possibility. So the next thing to deal with here is this equation or this inequality here. But my hunch is, you know, all of these lines are also the same, right? We're not really being tested on graphing the proper line. What we're being tested on is our ability to know which way to shade. So this inequality has less than or equal to. I'm going to still convert this into slope-intercept form just in case something weird happens here and I need to switch this, the direction of that, of that inequality. So let's do that. Negative 2x here. This is gone. 3y less than or equal to negative 2x plus 6. Okay, so we're not going to switch anything. So I'm dividing by a positive. Right? So I have y less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So what I'm saying is that each of these, each of these lines on the left, right, that go down in slope are all the same. So I can't cross anything out based upon that. So then what I need to just focus my attention on is the fact that this is less than or equal to, right? So we want greater than or equal to for this line here, but we also want less than or equal to for this line. So B is looking really good, right? Because we have this region here where my red lines, which represent the less than or equal to um, for this inequality, and my black lines, which represent the greater than or equal to for the original, right, this inequality here, they overlap. So B looks really good. I like B a lot. The only other one, again, that was an option, was choice C. 
But choice C, while I have the black lines looking good here, the red lines don't, right? Because I want it to be, I want this to be less than this line here. So there's no overlap there. So C is out, which means B is the best answer here.